Hi, I'm Apostle Kim A. Davis, and welcome to the Keeping It Moving broadcast. If you are ready to be catapulted to the next level, then stay tuned with me because we're getting ready to keep it real. In the overflow. Amen. Turn quickly in your Bibles to Acts 1 and 8 as I finish for, um, as I finish this for morning glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for praying for me, Mother. Every day. I need it and I appreciate it. Amen. Acts 1 and 8. You have it? And it says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. I'm talking to you. You got a little bit of it last week, um, and noonday already got it. Uh, Power for greater. Say it. Power for greater. Part two. Amen. Power for greater. Part two. Father, we thank you. We ask that you would crucify flesh on every hand. Oh, God, Father, we ask that you would bring every wandering spirit in, that we may be one in this season of greater. Lord, that we would be able to operate in this power. Father, ask that you would cause us to lay down every carnal thing and allow us to move in the realm of the spirit, not for our glorification, but for your glorification alone. Father, so that blinded eyes will be able to see, so that the lame will be able to walk, and so that the poor will be able to have the gospel preached unto them. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for we ask for these things only for your glory and your glory alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. I only have a few minutes, and I'm going to go through them right quick. Amen. Say it again. Power Power. for greater. greater. Amen. This realm of the spirit that we are in is so important is so significant so that we will be able to do the greater works that Jesus talked to us about and I've already if you if you realize on last um not this last Sunday because I wasn't here but how many remember Sunday before last when we were laying hands on the eyes of the people and it trickled uh, over into the next service and into the next service because that is the realm of the spirit that God is taking us into. And if the enemy has ever fought us, he's fighting us now. And he's causing us to, to, to sto- throw stones at one another, causing us to stow, throw uh, to fight and bicker back and forth about things that really don't matter because uh, uh, he knows that, and then a lot of arrows of, of uh, uh, what, do you call, what do you call the, the dark, fiery darts of the wicked being shot at me because if we can uh, smite the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. And, and once you understand that principle, you will uh, tell your flesh to sit down and shut up because there is something more important going on here. How many believe or desire to see miracles? How many need any miracles in your life? And if you don't need them, there's somebody sitting next to you that need them so much that we need to just be able to say, I need power for this greater. I need power to be able to do this thing and not let dumb stuff distract me. And so I guess since I don't have a lot of time, I'm going to move right on. But here, Jesus, he is, I, what I tried to do is, we come back to my point, what I tried to do uh, last week is after the Spirit of the Lord began to move and we began to lay hands on the eyes of the people. And, and, and my number one Miracle that I'm looking for is that overseer Harrison gets his sight back. I hear a lot of deep things about he'll be able to see in the spirit and all that, but I want him to be able to see in the spirit and in the natural. 
And I believe that if we would come together on one accord and grab hold to the horns of the altar and say we getting ready to do this thing like never before, the first miracle of manifestation and proof that God would give to us is that overseer will see. How many want to just see more than us getting some material things, but you want to see your family delivered and that they stay delivered? I'm seeing uh, the Deacon Della and her husband needs a long and major stuff like that. I'm not focused on no foolishness. And when you are expecting that kind of move of God, there comes an attack like never before. But because of what Jesus did, he gave us power to do this thing. And I'm getting ready to operate. And I'm going to operate with you or without you. I'm looking at the Gideon principle as he started out with 30,000. And God said, it's too many. To, to, to defeat a mighty army? Really? You mean it's too many? Yes. If you got a bunch of people in the 30,000 that are not plugged in or are not strong or that are afraid or don't want to do this, maybe we need to just cut it down until we get to a point where we're down to 300. If we got 300 that would say whether I like you, you, or you, or not, I'm going to do this thing because I want this to be the stone of help for real. And when you get in that realm, you sense all this carrying on in the heavenlies. And if you're spiritual, you'll know that you got to go into spiritual warfare to be able to get this thing rolling and to be able for us not to have casualties. But I want you to look at somebody and say, I don't want you to be a casualty. I want you to experience greater. Jesus has prepared them here up to this point, as you know. That he's been betrayed, he's been crucified, he's been resurrected. You've been following me? He made his physical appearances among them, a one of which he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Ghost. Now, what was the objective there again? It was for them to get an understanding and a revelation of the word. How many think you got some kind of revelation of what this greater is all about? Here in the book of Acts, he speaks of the promise of the spirit that they should receive power to perform the greater works. This kingdom realm is about the supernatural. And so now after Jesus has gone from betrayal to crucifixion to resurrection, now he is going to ascend. Where are we? We're at ascension now. How many have been betrayed? How many have been crucified? How many feel like I've gotten up, but now it's time for me to go up? It's time for us to go up above the realm of the natural into the supernatural. It is time for action. It is time for greater. And he instructs them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait until you get the Holy Spirit of this promise. And some of us need to just take a break. And get the endowment of the power from on high. It's okay to take a break rather than to remain on the battlefield and cause some of us to get killed. Ain't nothing worse than having a partner in battle that you're not sure if they equipped for this right now. That they need to take a break. That they need to go off the battlefield for a minute because of what's going ahead and what's lying ahead. There, there are some uh, mind, what do you call them, minefields. That as we take our steps, 
there are some some little subtle things that's going to blow up in our face if we don't have what we need of the strategy of the enemy and people on side of us that know and recognize these minds. Busty was trying to tell me about it. He said that they be all on the side of the road. In battle and in combat. And in this hour, there is uh, minds on the side of the road trying to blow us up. That's what's happening in here this morning. And that's what we got to do, mother. We got to declare that the devil is a liar. And I'm feeling like I need to go in warfare right now because the devil is a liar. And there's some lies being told right now. There are lies going forth that are trying to prevent this greater. Can y'all sense what I'm talking about in the spirit? And so here again, they again go carnal. Y'all remember this? Those of you that already heard it. They, he tells them, I need you to wait until the promise of the Father is given, which is the Holy Ghost. And then they start asking him in verse 6, well, when, when and they therefore were come together, they asked of him, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? Asking again about position. Asking again about stuff that really don't matter. And in this hour, it is not about a carnal kingdom. It is totally about a spiritual kingdom. And he says, you know what? Really, that's not your business when the father is going to restore the kingdom in that manner. But in the meantime, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is, in, is, is uh, uh, come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me. Even here in Jerusalem and Judea and in the other most part of the world, what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to be witnesses in the spirit of power and authority and ability and efficiency and the might. That's why the enemy is trying to attack our bodies and our mind and our relationships. And this is why I'm telling you people of God I really want to put the mic down and say If you mad at me Please come tell me right now Please let me know right now So that we can do this thing It's time for us to do this thing Called greater And if we are separated We're not going to be able to do it we're not going to be able to manifest it because I don't know if you know it or not, but you can only just fake it for so long. And at some point, if you really believe this thing is of God, then we got to come together and say, let's reason together and let's get this stuff out of the way so that we can move forward. So he says, now it's important to understand that he is not giving them exousia, he's giving them dunamis. In Luke 10 and 19, again, he said to tread on serpents, here was exousia, and scorpions, and the power over the enemy, and nothing by any means shall be able to hurt you. Matthew 10 and 1, it was exousia, which said power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and disease. Now, in Matthew chapter 9, I realized that he had already gave them exousia before he even went away. While he was still walking with them, he gave them power to cast out demons. He gave them power to cast out unclean spirits. He gave them power to heal the palsy. He gave them power to walk on scorpions. He gave them the authority to do it. And where God is taking me, I need my front row to ex exercise the authority that they have been given. While I am still walking in this realm, I need you to begin to cast out the devils. I need you to begin to recognize unclean spirits. I am so blessed to see that we are now being able to release you into the areas that you have been called to. So that you can be 
begin to prophesy and so I can begin to pass you the mic and you can begin to go into warfare so that I can begin to pass you the mic and you can begin to just go into a spiritual realm of singing in the spirit so that the shackles can be broken do y'all know where I'm trying to go he gave them exousia before he left but up to this point now he's giving them dunamis what is it he's giving them power efficiency and might for what Deacon Anna miracles the ability to be able to heal the blinded eyes the ability to be the kind of witness that can raise your hand and say I was healed of cancer now I'm getting ready to lay hands on you so that you can be able to do it what is the best witness in the world that you can witness of something that you've already experienced yourself that I used to be yesterday in the class that one of the ministers say I used to be mean you gotta be delivered from meanness and now I'm not mean no more I used to be sick and now I'm healed I used to be broke and now I'm able to prosper I don't know about you but I thank God for my every low place cause my low places have given me the ability to be able to rise up with the power to do greater how do I know I can do greater because I did greater on a lower level now he's trusting me with greater on a higher level look at your neighbor and say he's giving you power to do greater where are you going to do it? In Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and in the uttermost part of the earth. What am I going to do? I got to get the word out beyond these walls. But the word witness here is usually translated. It's not usually translated martyr, but it's actually translated martyr. And that's really, really, really what separates us. Play soft because I don't have enough time. A martyr is a person who not only testifies, but suffers voluntarily to take the death penalty for witnessing and refusing to renounce the cause. It's a person who sacrifices something of greater value especially life itself for the sake of the principle. I'm feeling like I'm being crucified right in through here. But it's okay. Because I've resurrected and now I'm getting ready to ascend and I'm willing to die for the cause. I, I, I renounce all of my rights. To say, if I die, let me die. But I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. If ain't nobody with me, I gotta go. Because I believe God that He's calling us to a greater realm. Anybody in here believe God besides Sister Carol? Anybody here believe God that there's deliverance coming forth in this house? Is there anybody in here? that believes God for greater I ain't got enough time but if you need somebody to pray for you come on and let them pray for you if you got some things you got to get straight come on and get them straight hallelujah come on people of God if you're not saved, come on and get saved. If you need healing, come on and get healed. If you want to make this your church, come on. If you just need somebody to pray for you, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, clap your hands, clap your hands. Thank you, Lord. 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 
Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, clap your hand. They're coming for prayer. Thank you, God. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. He's given us the power that we need to complete this job. Thank you, Lord God. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Join hands with your neighbor just in case. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for power for greater. If there's someone in here that needs to be saved today, Lord, let them come today. Father, if there's someone that needs healing, let them come today. Someone that needs to make this their church home, let them come today. Someone that needs that power for greater, let them come today. We thank you now for being done. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bring her here right quick. I got about two minutes. Have I spoken to you publicly before? Mm -hmm. Lift your hands. I don't know if this means anything to you, but, but I heard in the spirit realm that the search is over. The search is over. And for whatever that means to you, even as the words that you have been hearing in the past few weeks, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say they are directly to you in this season. And it is taking you up. If you, if you heard in the word, and I didn't have a whole lot of time today, but first, Jesus was betrayed. He was crucified. Then he was resurrected. And then he went up. You've been through the steps. Now you're going up. And the words that you are hearing are being sown like seeds in the ground. And they are going to come up. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, stay focused. Stay focused. Because things might look funny. They might look like not what I'm saying to you. But I hear God say, the search is over. And you are going up. You are going into a place of ascension. High above all the craziness that's going on. And I see a smile on your face in the midst of chaos. And I'm laying hands on your head for peace in the midst of the storm. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands for this sister. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray that you were blessed by that word that you just heard. I'm also praying that you are already in a relationship with Jesus Christ, but perhaps you are not. So I pray that right now you will just invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And I promise you, you will never be the same. So until next time, I want you to stay tuned to Keeping It Moving broadcast. I love you. God bless you. See you again real soon.